Hi everybody. <laughs> Long time no see. How are you? How have things been going for you? I hope really, really well. If you don't know me, uh, welcome to my little corner of the ether. Uh, I'm Jenny Satori Davis. I am a shaman and an energy healer and um, sometimes a poet. <laughs> and so on and so forth. We are so multifaceted, all of us humans. And I think that we should exercise all of us. Every part of us that lights us uh, should be at least explored. You know, I, I don't care for the boxed thing, no matter what it is, you know, like I really, kind of drives me a little batty, but um, that's for another thing, I think. I don't know. Let's see. We're listening. We're listening. I generally uh, don't come on if I don't have anything to say. And, you know, uh, between doing my own thing and, um, you know, just listening, I have not felt the need to come and do anything. And I have felt bad for that uh, on a personal level, you know, from my own human self, but on a spiritual level, I totally get it, you know? <laughs> and that can often happen with uh, doing spiritual work in earnest, you know? Uh, a lot of times people just want to share, 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 and you know, what the buzzwords of what we're all doing out here in social media land, you know, content, content, and do this and do that. It's, for me, I need to have heart or else it just doesn't feel right. I'm not saying I'm better than you or anybody that doesn't do it that way, but I am saying that that's how it works best for me, you know, and that's super important, you know, that's, the magic, you know, is finding your own flow, finding what lights you to the point that it, it elevates you, you know? And it, it's really hard to tell people that we need to do this and we need to do that uh, without allowing for an example, you know, for, for room, rather, you know, these examples of space that's needed for each of us to fully blossom, fully light up, fully grow. And with that being said, the blossom part, um, I have shared this with you probably if you've been following me on any channels, um, uh, particularly here on YouTube, I like to talk about transfiguration and how great that is, you know, and that is about just glowing from within, you know, we sort of emit and glow. Uh, we don't push hard. And why I want to bring that up is not only because it's a wonderful self healing exercise and potentially healing. Uh, I do a lot of my healing that way as, you have observed, you'll see me, I will stop and I will go. I've been doing that same style for many years. Um, with my little hands is sometimes when I'm doing the go part, uh, but when I sit still, uh, this is me just kind of glowing. You know, the sun glows, it doesn't go oh, and push out, right? So it's the same idea with, I think life, and how to go with the flow more. You know, um, we're kind of like these fancy cats, right? Fancy, fancy cats. Uh, you come to us. Whatever is your desire is also its desire, right? So what you're looking for is looking for you, you know? And it's all about self-esteem my cat's trying to get in here. <laughs> I'm in a new little uh, energy area and what, you know, and uh, the cat's just getting used to it and not happy at all that I have closed the door. 
I was hoping to make it nice and quiet. Oh, he's, he's found his way in. He opened the door. Smart little boy. Uh, you gotta get behind me to get on camera, love. Anyway, um, let it flow. Let it come to you. And think of yourself as the sun. Um, the sun doesn't co come towards the earth. Uh, it doesn't wish to come to the earth. It just does, you know, uh, with its glow, with its immense power. And the power is what? In the stillness of it, you know, um, there is a lot going on in the sun, just like there's a lot going on uh, in order for us to maintain proper function to live you know the heart's going the brain's monitoring and doing its thing and do to be you know think of that as all this this fire in the sun you know the solar flares the winds that's the same thing it's keeping its energy it's keeping its energy but it's really within itself unless there's other atmospheric things going on and that's when we see some chaos when we feel some chaos sometimes if you're sensitive to the Schumann resonance and so on um, <laughs> I could go on and on with these metaphors for life and the Sun and how all this works but what I'm saying is the the Sun ain't moving really you know it is within itself but it's so powerful you know and people forget how powerful they are uh, I am a huge advocate for self-empowerment and i want you to know how powerful you are at all times uh, it isn't just me i did a short little energy job today um, for two reasons one i felt like it was pretty powerful in itself i didn't need to be drawn you know made, made dramatic and drawn out also I'm hoping to use some of it to put on Instagram because you can only do like a minute and a half on there for your little videos. Yeah, <laughs> so that too. Uh, but that's an aside. You know me, we just go round and round here as I'm listening to spirit, as I'm trying to convey at the same time. So it may seem a little bit off kilter, but actually just like the sun and it, all its things internally going on it's really uh quite purposeful so i was saying that the, the fact that you are so powerful um should move you and i think it doesn't guys because so many people as you're moving there's something pushing it down you know and it's the the other people who aren't moving generally right it's like, it's kind of, I've talked about this very often about all this opposition. We have opposition when we are uh, wanting, you know, the wanting is what is returned to us, yeah? That's the same thing with the moving. <laughs> the non-moving is also returning to us. Uh, and it comes in the form of people quite often. Um, they go, wait a minute. I'm sitting here and a body at rest should stay at rest. What the heck is that thing doing? Why is it rolling? <laughs> There's no incline. Why is it rolling? I don't like that. I don't like change and I don't like to see other people move without me. Mm. You know, and I think that it's a common thing that goes on. Um, and it's inadvertently for the most part, right? Uh, it's, it's the yin yang, it's the way of nature, you know, white and dark, you know, um, it's, it's a balance, but it feels in balance because it's, it feels unfair, you know, but you have to remember that even with things that are unfair or seemingly so there's a fairness to it by it being unfair and what i mean by that is it's all in balance somewhere okay so if something is taken from you 
it is given somewhere else. And so when you feel like you've lost something or you're losing something or you're not getting to where you want to be, someone else is. And I want you to take joy in that instead of, well, why am, am I not getting it? It's, it's a wheel of fortune. Mm -hmm. You ever see like tarot? That's not really my bag, but you know, I know of, of it, and I'm, you know, but the wheel of fortune card, um, it goes around. It comes to you all in good time, right? Divine timing. The wheel of fortune, you have either reverse or upright, you know? And somebody on the other end who is on the, like where I am, it would be China, right? On the other end of the world, if I'm in reverse, they are in positive, they're in upright. And so I would like you to think about this in such a way that it's still balanced, you know, and it, it's still orchestrating for you. And what you have to do is nothing. And I've said this many times, and I think that some people have thought, well, that's ridiculous. You have to do things. And boy, I, I, I agree with you that there, there needs to be action when action is felt within you know, it's, it's not action taken by being told what to do. It's action being taken by using your own discernment, your own brain. Oh my God, what a freaking concept. I almost said something else. <laughs> but anyway, I feel like that is what I wanted to share is, well, I really want to share more and more, but let, let's leave it at that and that concept of, you know, chill you know just chill and also know that somebody in China or somebody in Germany or you know whatever the the other end of everything there's a balance you're not left out it's not personal it isn't personal none of it is unless you make it personal and We'll tie this up with a great big bow and say that, you know, the sun burns some people's skin and, and it bronzes others. And it doesn't mean either one, right? And it's that power that we all possess. You know, uh, sometimes we offend people and sometimes we don't in the same exact thing that we say. All these things apply. It's all not personal. It's all really powerful and really synergistic. You know, it, it's, it's like all of this is working together. If you allow it to, if you don't push <laughs> the energy, the notions. And I've talked about this many times before, but it's still very important right now to mention and as usual that's what you recognize my birds agree so with that being said i will try to be back again very soon and i hope you enjoyed this Mwah.